Good people. Hello, I'm Dmitri. I was just thinking about the other day. No. How do you make keyboards cooler? Hello, good people. I'm Dmitri, and I was thinking the other day what could be the next cool thing when it comes to keyboards. And you know what? Steel Series is out to the bang at Computex, releasing eight keyboards, my friends. You know, giving little flavors here and there for your preference. So let's take a look at the new Apex Pro and Apex 7 lines right after this. Huge thanks to Fantix and SteelSeries for sponsoring our Computex visit. So the first one here is the Apex Pro keyboard. We actually just came from their booth. We actually get to experience it. And also we kind of stole one with the condition that we return it tomorrow. But don't worry, I'll definitely get some in the studio right after the show. So stay tuned for our full review then. So the Apex Pro, it is top of the line and I'm very happy with its feature set. The board design looks great with that thin profile without any oversized frames or weirdness going on and actually really awesome illumination. We have an aluminum base plate, a really nice soft touch magnetic wrist rest on both the TKL and full size variants. There's a USB pass through port on the left side that is illuminated three-way channel for the cable underneath that is non-removable and multifunctional roller and a button in the top right that is for your media control volume and navigating that screen now that magnetic wrist rest it feels so smooth and satisfying we do have some concerns about it collecting lint and other particles over time when we tried to clean it with a microfiber cloth it left a bunch of particles but in terms of its surface texture and the feeling in your fingers and on your wrist it is really smooth the only thing that i would comment on about the physical characteristics would be the cable it is quite thick it requires dual connections because of that usb pass through and one powering the keyboard so just keep that in mind now let's talk about that monochrome oled display and it seems like it's coming back and while i thought it was pretty gimmicky on the rival 700 mouse with the vibration motor and the slide display on the right side to give you some information uh, I think that its implementation on the Apex Pro and the Apex 7 keyboards is actually well done. What you can do with it is lighting navigation, profile selection, on the fly macro recordings. You can see your system statistics like hardware usage or temperature of the hardware. Uh, there are plenty of in-game integrations too with CSGO and Dota 2 uh, to see a kill-to-death ratio plus all types of unique graphics based on these titles. It's got a notification system built in for Spotify and Discord so you can see visually things coming in. It won't be like a thing that you can read an email on. That's kind of pointless because the screen is pretty com compact and it's further away from you if the screen was somewhere beside the escape button then it would have been a bit more visible but it being in the corner it's only there when you really need it and you can also use the screen to adjust the actuation point for the new steel series omni point switches which is awesome you don't require the software now i've made a whole video about the omni point switches you can check it out over here but to recap they wanted to create something linear something that is light at 45 grams something that mimics the gator on red switches and actually code developed it with Gatoron and this switch is now patented and the main selling point is the ability to adjust the actuation distance on when that key is registered from 0.4 millimeters all the way up to 3.6 millimeters so if you like to bottom out on the keys and have that typewriter feel you can set the actuation point to uh, register at 3.6 versus if you like to really just fly on those keys without bottoming out with just pressing them slightly a slight amount then you can have a much shorter actuation point uh, all the way up to 0.4 if you prefer that but as everybody jokes around in the suite like you can just blow on the keys and they'll uh, register of course that's not the truth but having that really low actuation point uh, is unique but it's also probably not necessary for majority of people and this actuation customization is done on a per key basis which is fantastic so you can customize your writing area for something else and maybe the numbers to be slightly deeper or wasd area to be faster but everything else to have deep uh, actuation points so you don't accidentally press them while maneuvering your hand within a certain area of your game so that is awesome they are rated at 100 million clicks versus 50 million on mx cherry so they should last you for a very long time and they've been testing it for months trying to click it and 100 million is at least is what can get it can do probably can do more than that now if you don't really care about this whole actuation customization element about the apex pro that is why apex 7 exists it offers identical features to the apex pro in terms of the tkl versus full size magnetic wrist rest the oled display everything is identical 
but the switches. And the switches on the Apex 7 are gated on red, brown, and blue. Fantastic switches. And uh, that gives you the option to save a bit of money if you don't want the whole customization element. And as for the OLED screen, I'm curious to see how the experience will be like in the long term. Is this something I will actually use or just occasionally uh, come back to it to set my lighting presets and maybe change up the actuation point? And I'm, I'm guessing that is going to be the, the usage case scenario, but the whole idea of it displaying some hardware statistics or something in game, um, I feel like that's going to be a, a nice attractive point of why you should maybe consider the Apex Pro or the Apex 7. So stay tuned for my full review. And finally, here are the prices for all the new keyboards, a bit on the premium side uh, due to all the loaded features. One thing I'm really happy about is that SteelSeries is launching both the TKL and the full-size versions at the same time. And we don't have to be asking for a TKL variant of something like it. And it's cool because the Apex Pro and the Apex 7 TKL versions also have the display that uh, has the same functionality as the full size. All right, so that's all from Steel Series. Check out our OmniPoint Explain video if you are still confused on how that whole thing works. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.